Protesters stormed Mexico's parliament on Tuesday, forcing the lawmakers to suspend debate on the controversial judicial reform proposals. This is thousands continued with their protests against the controversial judicial reforms that allow voters to elect judges. <laughs> When the reforms were up for debate in the Parliament's upper house, the protesters created a bit of a ruckus with the Senate president calling for an indefinite recess. The debate is likely to commence again and will go into the early hours of Wednesday, followed by a vote to pass the new bill. Now, outside the parliament, the demonstrators, in fact, continue to protest with a Mexican flag that's been going on for weeks. We are definitely against it because it does not strengthen the judicial career, which is what any constitutional reform should seek. It should strengthen the justice system, and of course, a strong justice system guarantees democracy, peace, and security to this nation. The backed by the outgoing President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador and President elect Claudia Sheinbaum. The new reforms will allow the voters to elect over 6,000 judges and magistrates, including the Supreme Court. The incumbent president is, in fact, hell bent on amending the new reforms before he leaves office in October. Now, according to Obrador, the new laws will hold judges more accountable and will reduce corruption. And it also aims to cut short the term of the Supreme Court judges to 12 years and reduce the number of judges from 11 to 9. The laws have already been passed in the lower house last week and it is just one vote short of a two-thirds majority to make it official in the upper house. The speculation is on the rise that the opposition senator has also pledged allegiance to the ruling coalition over the new reforms. a unique case. Now, the United Nations has said that Mexico will make for a unique case in terms of appointing judges if the reform passes, while Supreme Court judges believe that those elected will be coerced and threatened by criminals, drug lords and cartels. Furthermore, the United States and Canada have also warned that the new law will have an adverse impact on trading and investments. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.